I'm here in Kikafer's Academy with brother CEO Henry and sister Kishanda. Really just wanted to kind of pick their brain about kind of what they have going on. So let me, let me start with you. What, uh, why, why y'all do this? What, what, what brought y'all to this? Uh, so we decided to start this private school, this academy for young people, kindergarten through high school, uh, to give them an alternative in life so that we're not giving them the same line, that's a lie, that we've been told that you can go to school, get a good job, get a good education, and you'll be fine. Today's world is changing, so today's education needs to change. And so we offer our students to be entrepreneurs, to build skill sets that they can use in real time to make money right now, not when they turn 18 or 25 or 30. They can start making money right now while they're in school and learn real skill sets. Awesome, awesome. For someone that doesn't know much about your academy, give them a little bit of flavor and also why it's, it's important to teach entrepreneurship to this community. Uh, flavor? Well, I mean, we, <laughs> while wow, you asked me that question, I'm not the most flavorful person, but it's important to teach our students and children in our community entrepreneurial skills because in, in this society, we haven't had the most opportunities in the workforce, right? So we've all experienced those glass ceilings. And if we haven't experienced them, our parents and our grandparents experienced them. And so we want our students and our children to not go through those experiences. And what better way to remove a glass ceiling than to give a student skills and entrepreneurship so then they can create their own way and create their own destiny. And so that's why it's important because we don't want our students to go through the same struggles and face some of the same uh, deficits, I guess, if you will, that we had to go through and our parents had to go through and our grandparents, right? So that's why it's important. Flavor. You gotta ask Brother Henry. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's huge. Moving forward is huge and trying to build something is big. So, and we always talk about inspiration, right? What was the inspiration for y'all of bringing this in? Which one you wanna go? I'll go. Uh, so I was inspired and it's, I know it's cheesy, but I wanted to see better in my community, right? So we have a child that's here in the school. We have two children that's here in the school and we found this education to be most beneficial for our own children. So we could have kept them in our nice little bubble, poured into them these entrepreneur endeavors, poured into them becoming published authors, but then we have to send them out into the world, right? So what good are we doing by keeping all of this goodness to ourselves? And so honestly, the inspiration is just simply wanting a better community, wanting to see better for uh, children in our community, for families in our community, for other adults in our community who could take this idea of becoming entrepreneurs in their 30s and 40s and then now they can start to open businesses so it's really wanting to see better in my community that's that's literally what this is about awesome awesome how about you um you know i'm really inspired i did a lot of community work in the community working with our young people and there's something that we call and it's just to piggyback off what my wife said something that i call the fish tank theory in, in the fish tank theory says that if you have a fish in a fish tank and the fish gets dirty and you take it out of the water and you clean it and you put it back in the fish tank that's dirty but you don't clean the actual fish tank you're not really helping the fish it's good that you clean the individual fish but the environment is more important than the actual fish itself so in our community there's a lot of good parents there's a lot of good programs and institutions but if we're not focused on cleaning the whole we're not focused on cleaning the entire environment we're only focused on the individual fish well, it's good and you can do everything right for your child, but if the next child isn't done something right for them, then we still suffer a problem. This came to a crux for us when we had a friend whose son was murdered in a quadruple homicide. He did everything right to raise his son, but because there was no institution in the community for somebody else's child, somebody else's child took his child from him because we were focused on just the one child, just the one fish, instead of focusing on the fish tank. But if we have a fish tank mentality where everybody matters, but we're looking at the community versus the individual, now we can start to really impact our community on a bigger scale, not just individually. So that's really what drives us. Awesome, no, that's huge, that's huge. So you did say you had some family here. Can we bring them in, kind of let them talk about how it's in, this school has maybe impacted them a little bit? Absolutely, would you like to come? This is Samaya. 12-year-old entrepreneur. Hi. Okay. Uh, what do I say? Just go right there. Just talk a little bit about 
um, how this school has helped you and, and maybe some of your friends around in the community. Okay, um, my name is Samaya. I'm 12 right now and I've published so far two books and I've illustrated over 30 books and I wouldn't have been able to do that if I didn't go to this school. And I'm also two grades ahead, so I'm supposed to be in seventh grade, but I'm actually in ninth grade academically. So I'm two grades ahead, and if I went to a normal public school or private school, I wouldn't have been able to do that. And I've got to meet a lot of people and learn a lot of different things that you wouldn't normally learn in a public school. Like, I got to learn black history. You normally don't learn that unless, you're in, unless it's Black History Month in public or private schools. But I get to learn that once a week here every, every week, and you don't normally get that. That's huge. Thank you very, thank you very much. You know, I really, I really enjoy not only the community in here and the culture here, but also just the vibes. You know, when you come in, you see people that are wanting to learn and engage. You know, I came into some of these or into these classrooms, and it wasn't just kids looking mad, sad, and and just you know head in the book. You know, they're engaged, they're talking, they're having conversations with their teachers. And I think that's huge because, you know, communication in this world is something you just, it's hard to teach, but once you get there, it'll forever propel you. So kind of ending this interview, what do you feel like is gonna be the best thing to propel you guys forward and how maybe the community can help you help them? Absolutely, so uh, for us, our success is, is rooted in the student success. And the student success really is rooted in their family success. So here we have village mentality. Even though the children attend the school, really we're servicing the family because we're focused on breaking generational curses. We're focused on teaching people how to come out of poverty, how to make money, how to build generational wealth, how to change for the better, right? So for us, the success of our students really is our success. Now, people that want to help, there's a million ways you can do it. Of course, you can donate your time, you can volunteer. Uh, we've had people that have created courses and donated courses to the school for to teach the children how to do Amazon drop shipping, how to do um, get started in real estate at a young age. What does credit look like? What does good credit look like? Also, of course, we have a huge campaign that we're pushing right now. We are looking for people who agree with the mission, who agree that fixing our community is a priority. We're looking for people who love their community and their people and want to see better. And we're asking 10,000 people to become donors to donate just $30 a month. If they can donate $30 a month, what we can offer is not only the school here, not only our virtual school, which has students across the country, but now we can begin to open schools in other cities across the country tuition free and help families to produce children that not only start businesses, but the goal ultimately that we want to see, we want to produce students that understand how to make six figures and above because that's how you impact the community. So anyone interested, they can definitely check for more information and we'll drop the link below that they can go to if they would like to become a donor. Um, but that is our big campaign and push right now. You said tuition free. That's huge. You know, a lot of kids maybe come from, you know, so low socioeconomic households or just they don't really get to value education because they have to eat and survive, right? And so how do, what's kind of next for Kikafer and how do you see you guys growing within the next maybe five years? Whoever wants to answer that. I, to speak on tuition free, uh, free. Some, free, that something that's important in tuition free is not just all, donating, but also getting out. And especially in those states where uh, you don't have the opportunity to choose your school, right? Some states, it's in the law that you, whatever school you choose to go to, the, the money goes with you, right? And so on the administrative side of being uh, uh, in a school system, you understand that every child in the public school gets so much money, right? But if we could get to the point where those funds now go with every student, then it would make students able, it would give students the ability to choose their school and go to school for free, private or public. And I see Kikifer's Academy hopefully in the future being a catalyst of that in our future right here in our state of Illinois and hopefully other states. And I see us building schools across this country and even across our world. Uh, we've had inquiries from 
as far as Trinidad and Tobago, as far as Canada, as far as in Europe, as far as in Jamaica, inquiries about how do we start a Kika First Academy in our country? How do we start a Kika First Academy here where we are? Because this is bigger than just Illinois. This is bigger than just our small city in Rockford. We want literally to change our world for the better. So just like Henry said, why clean the fish tank here in the States when we can clean the fish tank in Canada and in Mexico and again in Trinidad and Tobago and in Jamaica and in Europe and in Africa and in India and in Asia, right? Why not have an entire world of people, an entire world of students whose mindset is to create businesses for themselves, which will then create jobs for the people in their community. And then those people create businesses for themselves and then they create jobs for the people in their community. So it's much bigger than just Rockford, Illinois. We want to take this thing across the entire globe. And if they got students on Pluto, we want to get to them. If there's students on Mars, we want to get to them. If there's students in Venus, we want to get to them. This is a universal message that we want to take across our globe, not just in our state. And I see us being able to do that just in the next 5, 10, 20, I don't know how many years, but there's going to be a student at our school that's going to be a six or seven figure earner. And they're going to come back and take this idea across the globe, which is ultimately what I would like to see as a founder here. I would love to see one of our students say, this is the education that I got. Let me go take this and spread it across the globe. Man, that's huge. You know, businesses talk about social responsibility, right? And what, how not social responsibility is that? So before we get out of here, please shout out your socials, where people can find you, where people can donate, or do whatever they need to do because you, know, you guys have a mission and it's huge. Absolutely. So we're on Instagram at kikafirst.academy. Or is it Kika First Academy? Kika First Academy, we're the only one. If you put in Kika First, K-I-K-I-F-E-R-S, then the school will pop up. We're on Instagram. We're on Facebook. Uh, our website, www.kikafirstacademy.org, is up. So you can always get in contact with us. And uh, we're excited about the future. Awesome. Awesome. Y'all have heard it here now. Stay tuned. <laughs>